Omi village. Home. No sign of Mongols. As soon as I could. It's good to see you, Yuriko. You look tired. Are you hungry? Not now. Thank you. The Khan's army must have marched past here. Have you had any trouble? A few bandits. Nothing I can't take care of. I've come for my father's. my armor. You refused to wear it at Komoda Beach. A lot has changed since then. I hid it somewhere safe. These old bones. I'll get Taichi to help me fetch it. He's at the cemetery. What's he doing there? Tending the grounds. Gathering plants for my poisons. Keeps vermin out of our food stores. I'm glad you're not alone. What about Lord Shimura? Alive. The Mongols captured him at Komoda. But we freed him. Oh. Others survived. And they're helping you? A few. Lady Musical. Good. She's been fighting alongside the boys since she was knee-high. <laughs> You'll have to tell me more about that someday. But it's just the two of you? A few others. Sensei Ishikawa. I haven't seen him in years. Does he still act like he's the only one who knows how to do things? Half the time he's right. But his aim is unmatched. He would certainly agree. Lord Sakai, you're back! I wish I could stay, but I hear you're taking good care of Yuriko. You've got that backwards, my lord. Daichi, help me get the Sakai armor. Go. I should pay my respects. The weeds haven't been pulled. I'm sorry. How will Lord finally return from his own?
I mourn my father. His grave close, his soul distant. This old tree lives on. Are you all right? Yes, just lightheaded. For a moment, I thought you looked. Face us, coward! Get inside. You also said you'd come crawling back home. You said a traitor. You were so a traitor's faithful. The door is about to be just that way. Yuriko. Lord Sakai. Is Yarikawa giving us trouble again? The Yarikawa Rebellion was 20 years ago. Those men were with the Mongols. Of course. Seeing you like that, I'm still shaken up. I need to catch my breath. By the lake. Your favorite tree. Yes. Come. You said earlier you've been making poisons. 
keeps the vermin out of our rice. Can you make it stronger? Enough to kill a man? No one deserves that. Can you do it? The effects in larger doses are ugly. Good. Oh, my lord. Sit with me a moment. Poison has never been the Sakai way. No Sakai had to fight the Mongol Empire. I need every weapon we have. Tsushima can't afford anything less. The Mongols have changed you, young master. The world has changed. My mother taught me about plants that heal, others that harm, even kill. But they must be consumed. How will you poison the invaders? A blowgun and darts. I've read of their use by a Genji warrior who studied with monks from the West. Will you help me? Promise me you'll remain the good man I know. I promise. I've looked after your every need since your mother carried you. I won't stop now. All I need is something to make a blowgun. Mm, used to be a lot of reeds on the other side of the lake, where the old fishermen lived. Remember? You and your little friend gathered them to make little boats. Yuzo and I, we spent all day reenacting the Battle of Danola. Be careful, Jin. I've seen fires over there at night. Not sure who it is. Don't worry, I'll be back soon with reeds. Go on. I'll be fine. Yuriko was right. The old fisherman's home has been taken over by bandits. Perfect for a blowgun. I'll get these to Utico.
Jeep. I'm so holding the wall. Yuriko? Excuse me, young master. You caught me thinking about Lord Sakai. I try not to do that. He loved you in his way. Enough of the past. We have a blowgun and darts. All I need now is the poison. Of course, young master. Come with me. I have a small camp where I gather plants and herbs for ointments. And poison. It kills vermin within moments. Make it strong enough for the invaders. Nice to ride with you again. You and Lord Shimura taught me to ride. <laughs> On that runt pony. <laughs> you sat so tall and straight in your little saddle. Like you were the Shogun himself. No, little Jin. What's so funny? I just remembered it was out here you nearly killed your uncle. What? You were three or four. And the poor man was trying to teach you how to hold your wooden kodachi. You wanted to chase butterflies. I know the story. My uncle's black eye took weeks to heal. <laughs> Lord Shimura and your father laughed so hard, I fear they'd both choke to death. I don't remember my father's laugh. He lost his humor after your mother got sick. But you have your father's laugh. Here we are. A gozomat and a campfire. You sleep out here? <laughs> Only when I spend the day foraging for plants. <laughs> I'll look for the flowers we need. Rest, Yuriko. I will get them for you. Don't eat the seeds, they're poisonous. Another child, Yuriko. Oh, <laughs> I know. Remember how we gather flowers for your mother? She arranged them for the little alcove at home. That should be enough. Bring them to me, young master. Your plants. Good. We extract the seeds, crush them, make a paste, and dip the needles. Make sure the dose is strong. It should do what you need. It's done. You're sure he came this way? The old woman has a camp around here somewhere. Listen. Someone's coming. Stay there, Yuriko. Let's see if this poison works. He will regret what he did to Sadamune and the others. I just want his head and the price that goes with it. How much farther? It's around here somewhere. Let me get my bearings. Hurry up. I don't want to lose him.
Are you hurt, young master? Don't worry. I dealt with them. <sighs> sometimes I forget you're a grown man. I forget sometimes, too. We should get back to the estate. I'll stay. I need to straighten the place up. Don't push yourself too hard. Hush! You are not a child, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. What other kinds of poison can you make? Always so impatient. There is another. It causes confusion and rage. But the ingredients... What were they? Try to remember. It sounds useful. <laughs>